good morning dear students today we are going to discuss about a new topic that is principle of confidentiality you know that the fundamental principles right a professional accountant shall comply some of the follow uh, fundamental principles that is integrity objectivity or uh, professional competence and due care and uh, confidentiality and professional behavior so these are the fundamental principles of a professional accountant what do you mean by integrity integrity means to be straight forward and honest in all professional and uh, business relationship right and uh, what is objectivity do not allow bias or conflict of interest or or, or uh, undue influence of others to override professional or business judgments it is called objectivity and professional competence and due care to maintain professional knowledge and uh, skill at the level uh, required to ensure that a client or employer receives competent professional services based on current developments in practice or legislation and techniques and act delightly on in accordance with applicable technical and uh, professional standards and next one confidentiality principles of confidentiality means to respect the confident confidentiality information acquired as a result of professional and business relationship and therefore not disclose any such information to to third parties without proper and specific authority right understood so unless there is a legal or professional right or duty to disclose or not use the information for the personal advantage of the professional accountant or any third parties this is called the confidentiality right and professional behavior to comply with relevant laws and regulations and avoid any action that discredits the profession so these are the fundamental principles of a professional accountant that is integrity objectivity professional competence and due care and confidentiality and last one professional behavior in this video we are going to study about the principle of confidentiality what do you mean by this here the principle of confidentiality is not only to keep information confidential but also to take all reasonable steps all reasonable steps to preserve confidentiality right so whether information is confidential or not will depend on its nature a safe and proper approach for professional accountants to adopt is to assume that all unpublished information about a client or employer's efforts however gained is confidential right in the last day they, they are saying that all unpublished information about a uh, about a client or any employers is gained is confidential right so here the principle of confidentiality is is not only to keep information confidential but also the unpublished information they have to keep this uh, un, uh, unpublished information as a confidential information right so uh, they are they are not supposed to uh, disclose this information or they disclose this unpublished information right understood so this is about the meaning of confidentiality i hope this is understood right so every unpublished information of any client or any employers this have gained is confidential understood so here a safe and proper approach for professional accountant is to adopt to assume that all unpublished information is confidential so this principle of confidentiality imposes an obligation on all professional accountants to re uh, refrain from that is disclosing outside the firm or uh, employing organization confidential information acquired as a result of professional and uh, a business relationship without proper and specific authority or unless there is a legal or professional right or duty to disclose right that is a uh, uh, what impose and uh, it is an uh, obligation for all professional accountant they are not supposed to disclose pro professional information or any uh, unpublished information to the third parties without a proper and specific authority or else unless there is a legal or professional duty right 
they are not supposed to disclose the information or accounting information to the third party or any outside the firm this is the first uh, what obligation for all professional accountant and second one using confidential information acquired as a result of professional and business relationship to their personal advantage or the advantage of third parties so they are not supposed to use this confidential information for their personal advantage understood so or else advantage of third parties so professional accountant is public practice must not to disclose confidential information to the client even though the information is relevant to the engagement or would be beneficial or that client so where professional accountant is public practice so have confidential information which affects an assurance report or other report which requires the professional accountant to state their opinion right so the professional accountant cannot provide an opinion which they already know from whatever source to be untrue if the professional accountant public practice is to continue the engagement understood so the professional accountant must resolve this disparity in order to do so the professional accountant is entitled to apply normal procedures and to make such requires or inquiries in order to enable the professional accountant to obtain that same information but from another source under no some circumstances however shall there is or there be any disclosure of confidential information outside the firm and next one professional accountant shall maintain confidentiality in the social uh, environment that is important so being alert to the possibility of inadvertent disclosure or particularly to a, uh, to a close business associate or a close or immediate family member right so every professional accountant they have to maintain confidentiality including in a social environment and next one he shall maintain confidentiality of information disclosed by a prospective client or, or employer so this requirement extends not only to clients past or present but also uh, to third parties from or about uh, whom information has been received in confidence the principle of confidentiality which clearly does not prevent an employee uh, from using the skills acquired while working with a former employer right so in understanding a new role uh, with a different organization that's why professional accountants uh, shall neither use or nor appear to use special knowledge which could only have been acquired with access to confidential information so a professional accountant shall maintain confidentiality of information within the firm or uh, employing so employing organ sorry third next one he shall maintain confidentiality of information within the firm or employing organization a professional accountant they have to maintain the confidentiality or confidential information within the firm they are not supposed to disclose that information to the outside and next one professional like uh, the need to comply with the principle of confidentiality continues even after the end of relationship between a professional accountant and client right so when a professional accountant changes employment or acquires a new client the professional accountant and accountant is entitled to use prior experience understood so the professional accountant shall not however use or disclose any confidential information either acquired or received as a result of a professional or business relationship that's why uh, they, they need to comply with the principle of confidentiality uh, these information or these uh, uh, principle even after the end of all continues with this this uh, information or this principle continues even after the end of relationship between the professional accountant and a client or an employer so this is about uh, some of the uh, regulations or obligations of uh, uh, of all professional accountants as a principle of confidentiality thank you